buddies about how that might apply to you or an educator or how we focus in on things so much that maybe we don't see the whole picture. Just take a minute or two to talk to the table. observation. And then we, we talked about if we had been asked to just, just talk about what you see, we would have seen kids are passing the ball. Oh, there's some kid dressed in a bear doing a moonwalk right there. You know, we, would have, we might have seen that if we were given direction to look for something other than what we were asked to look for. So that's a possibility. But Don had a good comment about kids. Well, it's just sometimes by, by focusing on a particular area, we don't see some of the other individual needs and differences of some of the other people of, of our other students. Anybody else? Excuse me. Table here on this side. Kind of take off on that. Anybody else? We kind of talked about how like you're, you're zoned in on either a specific child or a specific lesson or a specific goal, and you don't see other kids that need help or you don't see the bigger picture of things. So how can you, and like Scott was saying, you're given directions to do this, but you've got a lot on your plate. And, and you're trying to meet the needs of all those kids, and you're trying this lesson, or you're trying a new strategy, or new technology. I mean, I heard a couple of you saying, okay, I was really focused in on this part of it. Okay, I didn't see that this kid did. Or sometimes the other kids are pointing out, did you just see that? No, I didn't, you know? I mean, how many times have you... Okay, I know I've seen it, the, the second kid that did it, or the third kid, not the first one, you know. To be honest with you, it's almost kind of embarrassing to watch it a second time and see the bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but it, it, I'm like, what was I looking at? But you were focusing on the one where I got 13 directions. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got 13 passes. Okay. So, um, in a little bit here, we're going to be having, having you look at your goals and focusing in on those. and. You know, that, that's kind of that narrowing in, but also seeing about that big picture, you know, take a breath back and, and kind of widen your angle on your, your lens just a little bit. What are some things towards your big picture? You know, our ultimate goal is we're trying to not just have a great lesson or help this one kid. We're, we're trying to help them not just get through your class, but a big picture. Attention, Michael Kovar, please come to the front office. Michael Kovar, please come to the front office. Thank you. kind of that wide to narrow focus. Yeah. Um, well, and I was just thinking about what we did today in class and we started last week. We did some visual learning where we diagrammed the male reproductive system. I say this is the basis for the rest of the quarter, whether we're talking about sexually transmitted diseases, whether we're talking about fertilization, nine-month journey. So it's really important that you get this basic. But then today, we went back and had them do it on their own. 
And then as we started, I said, you know, I want you guys to be constantly, I'm going to throw things out there that may go right over your head, but some of you might go, oh, because we all have, some of us have had our personal experiences and some of us, you know, because of the, we're the, you know, whatever sex, we might have more knowledge based on our body doing things. But it was kind of neat because I um, also tell them, they, they got to work on the worksheet after they did the diagramming the other day. And so a lot of times I think kids would say, well, I got the worksheet done, so why do I need to spend the next two days in the class discussion discussing this information? Because I already have all the answers. And I said, don't think that way because you've done a low level, you had a word bank, you were able to put a sentence in it. In. But I said, now we're going to take it to how it connects to everything else throughout the whole quarter. And so this basic information, we're going to use it and make it productive. And so they, and you saw kids do, like talking to themselves, um, you know, kind of, not even blurting, but kind of saying something. It was, and we could learn from that. Everybody could, and it was kind of interesting. And or the aha moments. I said there'll be aha moments going on all the time. Where all of a sudden you go, oh, I get where she's going with this. Um, so making them kind of think ahead too. Anything else? Food for thought. Okay. That's one of our metacognition. That's one of our habits of mind for us and promoting that for them as learners as well. So. Um, Next, um, um, hopefully you brought your smartphone. I'm going to show you on the iPad real quick. I get food. Jeff's going on, 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 So, as you, when you first sign in, mine looks a little bit different because I have some rights that you don't up in the corner, but yours should, when you first sign in, look like this, and then when you're scrolling through, you should be able to find your smart goals in this section. So just make sure you check the date to see when you um, put it in, so 2013, so this one's supposed to be, so then you just click manage. And then it should come up. So um, okay, and then down at the bottom down here, it says view or print form. Okay, so here's my stuff. And then your goal should be in the middle, whatever you so that's how you find them. So what we'd like you to do today, just because the year's halfway over, uh, we'd like you to just look at your SMART goal and see where you're at. Have you met it? Uh, have you not even came close? Have you started? Um, just think about what do I need to do to make sure that I complete my goal and get it done in a timely manner before the end of the school year. So it could be, since most of us have to write two goals, which one, maybe it's your first one. I hope it's your first one because that's the one that has to do with your reading or writing. And then um, the second one could be something else that you picked on your own. So we're just gonna give you 10 minutes. You can um, take notes if you want to, just whatever it is that, whatever way you reflect. Um, we want to do that. <coughs> Actually, we're gonna do seven minutes. And then at the end of seven minutes, we're going to go on to our next thing. So we just want to make sure we have that time to be able to check it out. If I need help, I'll help you. Oh, yeah. oh, we have to, if I've got the CMB, I'm not user authenticated, you have to do that for it to come out. I'm trying to get it.
we are just reflecting and looking at our goals and making additions and discussing.